Hello everybody, Always Jumpers here, uh, back with another video. Today we're going to be playing Trine. Uh, this is a game that I really enjoyed when I was younger, but I only played like once. I think, I'm, I don't think I beat this one, but I think I beat the second one, but I have played both. Uh, I did play, yeah, I was really young though, and um, I recently found out that it was on Steam, and there's also four games of it now. So I decided, hey, why don't we play Trine? So that's what we're going to be doing. And apparently this game doesn't have a title screen. It just kind of starts you off. So that's nice. Oh, never mind. I just didn't click here to start. Is multiplayer? Neat. Uh, let me make sure I put subtitles on for all you folks out there that need it. Voice chat. Dang, I didn't even realize it. Okay, uh, let's start. On medium. Okay. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value, the Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Okay. Yep. First off, the, <laughs> the narrator... I have a bad feeling about this. The music used to be a little lower, so... And then species. Oh, I'm getting hungry from all this fighting. There we go. Because I could not. I don't know about you. I could hear the narrator, but I just really also couldn't. Okay. The thing was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Oh, neat. Okay, so a lot of it's just kind of muscle memory at this point. I think the thief was my favorite character. Just because, I don't know, she's so cool. Death experience. Okay, that's neat. That's neat. I do remember, I don't remember a lot about this game either. I just remember I had a, I had a pretty neat story. I think I remember the second game more than the first game. It kind of blends together. I'm guessing I need to pick up all the experiment experience I can get. But yeah, I just the, I remember this game being super fun just because I don't know. I don't think when I when I was younger I never played anything like it because I was so busy you know playing with Mario. Additional players can join the game by pressing start on their controller. That's cool. I actually didn't know this game was multiplayer. That's actually, whoa. Okay. That's actually really neat. How, oh, how do I get that? Hmm, I do want to try to, can I like... I can't, okay, that's neat. Nope, alright. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine 
allowed her to enter unharmed. We got it. Oopsies. <laughs> As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. I think I remember the beginning of the second Unknown game. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. So you can't levitate an object while you're standing on it. I think I remember, I don't think my wizard was the favorite just because, I don't know, I think he's just the least, you know, he's just a wizard. Just some guy. Well, I, mean, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just, I feel like the other characters have more personality. He's just, I don't know, he's just a wizard. Which I guess should seem cool, but I don't know, I feel like it isn't. I just remember not liking him as much. So yeah, you can build like boxes and such. It's very neat. I like I like his mechanics. Don't get me wrong. Like he's a pretty decent character. But I guess I also I guess I think I liked his puzzles and also. Oh, does my stuff use mana? Physics in this game aren't very, very keen. Can I just? Hmm. I want to grab all the experience I can. The controls in this game are pretty good, actually. Oh wait, now what am I doing? Okay. Why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. Wh what kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. Oh yeah, I think this is my second favorite dude. At the other end of the Astral Academy, the knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant. But this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. Okay, I can hit him with my sword. Nito, how am I to get... Okay. I really enjoy the knight. I think, like, he... I think in this... Because in the second game, you get 
you know, it's the second game, so they learned, you know, they made stuff not so basic. Or maybe not. <laughs> like I said, I can't remember. Maybe we should focus on this game. Boom, sucker. I don't know, I think I like the night more just because, you know, I guess the it makes sense. a faint light coming from the age-old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the night's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. <laughs> he ended on his... <laughs> What's <laughs> going on? on? The knight joined in, taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Mm. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. But he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian, whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. All right. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. It's all her fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure. Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure. It's an ancient object, the trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... <laughs> the thief remained silent. She was waiting for the right moment to escape. Hopefully with the treasure and without the pair of fools. Hmm. I think I know how we can use the device as we like. Yeah, so you just said, whoa, okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, you gain experience and then you, you do all that stuff. And you can switch between all of the characters as you wish. And you just essentially do that through the entire game. And honestly, I like that a lot. And I think, from what I remember, they did a pretty good job of balancing each character. I don't really remember choosing a character over one. <laughs> they don't scare me. Oh God! And I think your characters can die, but then they can just switch to another. Okay. Oh, like there. But yeah, like, and it's, I don't know, I, I, oh, okay, I really enjoyed it. And then those are checkpoints, so. Alright, gotta get up here. How I do that, I do not know. That works. I think I remember, like, I used to abuse this game a lot, because, you know, the way its engine works. Like, I'm pretty sure you can just cheat the engine, when, like, cheat the game as much as you want. Alright, so we got I think it's also, like, a puzzle game. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of puzzles on this game. So, uh... Oh, yeah. what have I got myself into? We have to find a way to reverse the spell, to undo the magic. The tomb of the Guardian in the catacombs may have the answer, and it's not far away. Yeah, that guy's just gonna keep <laughs> moving. Okay, there we go. Alright. I've not seen much of the other games. Two and three. I mean, three and four. Oh, wait, can I just. Yeah. There we go. Find a holiday secret. Interesting. Uh. 
how do I get up, how do I get up there, you know? We'll use the box. This is very interesting. I don't know if you can backtrack in this game. Like if there's a level select screen. But I also just don't want to like, leave it. I guess. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just have to leave it and then come back, maybe. Oh, that's just great. Well, that's why you gotta use the knife. I guess. Okay, you also get experience from fighting enemies, so I don't really know. Maybe collecting experience isn't that necessary, maybe it's... Because there's some games that do that. Oh, there's wood up here, okay. Wait, okay, oh, hold on, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to go back. Maybe there's... Maybe there's wood up here? No, there's nothing else I can grapple onto? That's so weird, like, I don't know how I'm... Oopsies. Oh, no, I really... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I don't... Okay. Well, that was... Okay. Um... I am do not doing well. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Alright, she's back. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can, like... Can I, like, swing myself up? Yeah, no. Oh, I think I can't. Get out of there. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to try doing that. I'm going to try... <laughs> it's harder than it looks, okay? All right. I did it. All right. Time to use a different character. Okay. Um... I don't know how you... I guess you could use the wizard to get... Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get up here. Can I just do the same thing? Yes, I can. Alright. Okay. Just sim simple. Simple. Sort of. Alright, okay, so... So now we're learning, we're learning. So th this this is what this game is. It's just now how? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out. I don't want to give up. Whoa! This game is not okay. Can I just can I like somehow jump on that? Damn, how am I supposed to? You can just essentially. We gotta figure this out. Can I just... Okay. Huh. Can I... I should just... Mm. Come on. 
I could like block things back to enemies. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. Sweet, we got a checkpoint. Now I'm curious. Never mind, no mind. Actually, yes, I am. I can make a box. game about figuring. That's why this box is here. She <laughs> Swing. Do I have to go that other way though? I hope I don't have to go. I don't want to miss anything. That's the problem. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that's not good. I'm just gonna check out over here real quick, hold on. Uh, well, at least we got the knight back. Very weak right now, currently. Dang, that fire does so much damage. I don't know how the wizard can fight. with the mouse is not fun. I don't know how you would actually play this with a controller now I think about it. Okay, I can't even, okay, I can't even go there, so Alright, that's fine. Wait a second, what? I can, <laughs> I can push it? Dang, Thief's got some muscles. They don't like us being here. Is that the thief? I'm gonna guess that that was the thief. Okay, how, how strong is the wizard's magic actually? Like, is there no limit to what he can carry? Like, is it only if it's like stuck that he can't move it? I don't know. I need to figure out the rules of this. Like, this is the rules. This game is actually in 1080p. Was, well, not in 1080p, but I am blanking so hard today because I'm just too focused on this game. Okay. Can, I, can I like block their hits? Did he just kill his friends? So was there a chest over here? I am not. Doing so hot. You think these guys only die in like one hit? Okay, that, I don't know why. I'm almost. I almost gained a level though, that's pretty neat. Game, even though this game has a lot of instructions, it does leave a lot up. It leaves a lot of questions in the air. Oh, that's why. There's a cannon. Okay. I was like, how? Oh, okay. Uh, what do we got next? First off, is this. Is there a way to, like, break this box? Because if there is, then I feel kind of stupid. 
play good. Unless there is a way to open the box, and really hope there isn't, because then I've been, been missing out on some stuff. Alright, so. Physics is, it's nice, but it's also very annoying. All right, 49, we just got one more. Make it, there we go. Here, okay, we got it, we're good. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, skills XP 19 out of 25. Oh, so that tells me how much. Okay. The thief is an expert archer, able to swiftly kill their enemies at a distance. The bow will shoot two arrows at once. Skill points cannot be reset. How much do I have skill points for each one? Or. Allows the wizard to conjure two boxes. Um, gives the knight to correctly hit. I think this one might be the most useful. Okay, good. It is one for each character. Is an inventory? What's the inventory used for? Alright, uh, let's keep going. Yeah, it was good enough. <laughs> How long are the levels in this game? This isn't, this isn't too long, it's just... The enemies get tighter. Can I shoot that rope? Increases maximum mana by 5%. Well, obviously, it's going to the wizard. So, I don't know. Like, the other characters do use magic, but it's a lot later. And even then, I don't think using magic would be that much helpful. And, it, like, not, I'm not saying using magic would be not helpful. I'm saying it wouldn't... You Never mind. You wouldn't need the mana thing to... And then later on, either way. I don't know why that was so hard to say. This game looks pretty good too. I really like the style of it. I do. I, I know I keep talking about the second game. But the second game looks even was better. Unknown. They had not seen another man, woman, or child in ages. The undead had transformed everything. They were now surrounded by evil. But our heroes had to press on. They were in search of the tomb. The wizard was sure that it would belong to the founder of the Astral Academy, one of the three guardians. If they could find his tomb, perhaps they would find a spell to get them out of the trine. All right. So with Where that, are we? Oh. we are. B All right, guys. With that said. 
I'm gonna have to leave this here. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.